to my brothers, my sisters. When you move through a time of challenge, distress, pain, you're, you're in pain. Something's happened to you. Someone's wronged you, oppressed you. Use the moment to make a blessed dua and supplication to Allah. It is a moment of acceptance of dua. Ask Allah, oh Allah, bless me, my offspring. Bless everyone. Grant me Jannah. Make things easy for me. Why? Something massive just happened. You tested me. It was a big challenge. I'm going through this, oh Allah. But I'm here calling out to you regarding other issues that I have. Sometimes we are tested by Allah. And listen to this. It's probably one of the more powerful points that you will take home this evening. Sometimes Allah designs a test for you. You have a major problem in the home with the in-laws, with your outlaws, whoever it may be. You have a major issue with your health. You have a major issue with something. Sometimes because of your sabr and your patience regarding that particular thing and your dua for Allah to alleviate your suffering in that regard as a direct result of that patience and dua, Allah has blessed you in other ways that you would never have imagined unlike others. So you have a gift that those who are troubling you, harassing you, the naysayers do not have as a result of what they have said and done. Look at Yusuf alayhi salam. What happened? They tried to block him, to stop him, to kill him, to get rid of him, however they could. As a direct result of that, Allah elevated his status one after the other. He went up. So thank Allah, oh Allah, if this is the test you've put in my life right now, I thank you because I can manage this. I can cope. It's okay. So what if 20 people of the broader extended family no longer talk to me? Big deal. If Allah is happy with me, I am happy. Allah's blessed me with so much more than all of them put together. Is that not the case? So thank Allah. Thank Allah. I will try to resolve the matter because it is part of my duty as a Muslim to, to try to make the broader circle of my relatives within that which is without conflict should i say to try and bring them to peace with everyone in that circle but i may not succeed i'm going to try and if i don't succeed i'm not going to lose sleep over that i'm going to call out to allah keep trying to the best of my capacity that's god given but i am definitely going to thank allah oh allah you tested me with this you know what i'm managing don't test me with something else that's a winner. Did you hear what I just said? Oh Allah, you tested me with this. I have a problem. This is the issue. Oh Allah, do not test me with something else. I thank you that you've given me a test I can manage. It's tough. It's a struggle. But with your help, I can manage. You can't find a job, for example. But Allah's given you the opportunity to open an online business that's bringing some money. Thank Allah. Oh Allah, I'm jobless. If I was not jobless, I would have never thought of opening this online company and I wouldn't have started buying and selling. Wallahi, when you are pleased with the decree of Allah, the doors of sustenance shall fling open in a way that you did not imagine. It's just a matter of time and it's a matter of patience. Subhanallah, how many of us here today lost jobs and today we're making more than the, the boss that we were working for. Subhanallah, because Allah closed the door in order to open other doors. That's the message of the Quran. Look at the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. They struggled initially, didn't they? Some of them lost their lives, like we said. May Allah grant them Jannah. Wallahi, they lost their lives in order for the deen to get to us today.